Hey guys, uh, we got this question in our last user group meeting, uh, aaugakc.com, Auga. Um, we, I, I ran it into work today, and so I want to go ahead and record a quick tutorial at least of how I'm dealing with it. Deals with Navisworks to FBX to 3ds Max. Um, <clears throat> basically, the Navisworks file that I'm importing here had 31 materials in it. Uh, the FBX importer is claiming it has 837 materials. Um, it doesn't matter what, at least this is as far as I know, Max 2015, um, uh, the FBX version is 2014, it was exported out of Navis 2015. Um, <clears throat> doesn't, as far as I know, it doesn't matter what preset you pick, and I tried to disable materials and that sort of stuff in the FBX exporters, and um, it still comes across crazy. There's no nothing fancy in the material, it's just a pure diffuse color is all we really care about. Um, but you'll see as soon as we import here, you guys know if you're watching this, the error that pops up, or not error, but the problem with it is um, basically uh, if we open up our material editor, we get tons of duplicate materials. Um, and, you know, they're just named whatever color it was in the source file, and it's just a diffuse. And um, so. If I actually go ahead and uh, save this file as test, um, overwrite what was there, I have to save it in order to show you this next part. Um, if I open up the editor listener window, I do scene materials dot count. We get 715 materials. I thought that was kind of interesting that that number is different than even the 826 that uh, the FBX importer was telling us. So, all right, fine. Uh, we'll ignore that, move on. So I'm going to go ahead and do delete helpers. I don't care about those in this case. And I'm going to do delete shapes, just quick one-liner max script commands to get rid of extra stuff. It also helps me in this case for the demo because um, some of those helpers don't have materials. So this next line, uh, basically this is my workflow. I need, I want to get these these um, get rid of the, all those duplicate materials. The the way I handle that is um, one of the other issues with the FBX is object color. Uh, the wired colors of the objects all gray, um, and if, you know you can't do anything with layers because FBX doesn't support layers. They all come in on default layer. Um, so my workflow is to basically take the uh, go through iterate through every object, take its the object's material diffuse color set it to that object's wire color, then blow away all the materials, and then collect the materials again and just make one material per uh, wire color. So here's how I do that. Uh, delete the helpers, delete the shapes, and now I'm going to write a quick one line. Um, for O in objects, do O dot um, wire color equals o dot material dot diffuse now this is ugly because what it would error if an object didn't have a material would error if it, the material type was different uh, if it didn't have a diffuse property on the material but in this case i know they're all standards and i've already deleted helpers and shapes which may not have had um, um, materials assigned to them uh, so i don't have to worry about that error checking so I'm just going to go ahead and run that here hit OK um, and now we can see if I go back to object color whereas before everything was showing gray the uh, diffuse colors are, are now the actual object wire colors so as I select different objects you can see the, uh, the wire color matching for that object there now so that works um, but if I do scene materials dot count again we're still showing 750 materials. If I look at the material editor, all those materials are still there. I want to get rid of that. So I'm just going to do another simple for O in objects do O dot material equals undefined. Undefined. Enter. So now I have to save the file. This scene materials, um, there's a max script bug. Basically, if I don't save it, it doesn't update. But so I run it, and now we've got zero scene materials in the scene. Look at material. I'm not doing filter selected. So we have no materials in the scene. Uh, everything still has colors associated to it from the wire color. So that works. Uh, if you wanted to, you could just run with that, and it would render render the wire color. Um, 
in my case I, I if you want to do a fancy you know get some reflection on materials or get back to just one material per wire color um, then a script I found a number of years ago is um, this collect by wire color um, by Captain Red um, it, it originally was set to do uh, so goes through your selection collects all the objects and attaches them together based on wire color well that was close to what I wanted uh, but instead I instead of attaching them I don't want you to actually manipulate geometry I just wanted to uh, make the one material so I edited it a little bit. I'll post this to download. Um, just, just some really rudimentary hacking the script. It was really just a nice way to iterate through everything in the scene and get a unique array of wire colors. Um, so basically, uh, by running that script now, my hacked one, it just kind of adds a standard material, um, whatever. We're just going to do a Control A, select everything, and then I'm going to do Control E over here to run it. Uh, and then close this guy out. I'm going to save the scene again, which will update our scene materials array. Uh, I'm going to clear this and do scene materials, no typos, dot count. That is now 10. That is much better than the, what do we have, 715 before the 826 importer was telling us. Um, and uh, it's not the 31 that the original scene because this wasn't the full Navisworks file. I just did a, um, I hit a bunch of stuff and just exported a subset of it. Um, and so then if you wanted to do, uh, you know, V-Ray materials or something, then you could either edit that original script um, that I was running instead of having it make standard materials. Um, you could do V-Ray material or at this point uh, you could do a V-Ray scene converter, um, convert it over and set my uh, render over to V-Ray and then when I open up my um, material editor we'll have our 10 V-Ray materials so then we could go in and get those reflective or make something cool there but so that's how I handle that uh, 7 or 15 materials down to 10 now and um, there'd be other ways you could do it you could have another script that uh, or just in, instead could just compare the um, name of all the materials and combine those into one and lots of different stuff but um, just the workflow with the tools I had built up uh, I kind of instead of the one-liners I've wrapped most of that into uh, just some rollouts that I can just do with buttons real quick to uh, get layer color or get wire color same sort of deal uh, from the diffuse and and can do some a little bit that of that error checking that I mentioned but that's the basic way to do it um, so hope that helps and uh, go fill out the Autodesk user voice and maybe we can uh, fix some of this interop stuff in uh, the next version of Max. So thanks.